Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I want to show you how Rebel can be used for quick and effective grayscale character sketching. From initial thumbnail to more refined and detailed sketch, let's jump right in. Uh, I'm just starting with some quick thumbnail sketches to get some rough ideas down. Uh, this stage is all about exploration. I'm not worrying about details yet, just trying to find interesting shapes, silos, and overall design concepts. Thumbnailing like this is a great way to brainstorm and get ideas off quickly. I'm using a rough dry brush here because it keeps things loose and expressive. I usually draw 4 to 6 quick ideas. Once I have few interesting thumbnails, I will pick the one that stands out and start refining it. Once I have picked a thumbnail I like, it is time to refine it. Here the um here where the reverse transform tool with fractal settings comes in handy. I will select the sketch, then hit the transform icon. In the settings I enable the fractal option. Uh, this is amazing because it resizes your sketch without losing quality. Normally, resizing a sketch in most digital software costs, making it blurry or pixelated. But in Rebel, we can use the transform tool to resize while maintaining that sharp details that we had in our base sketch. Notice how every stroke retains its crispness during this process. This is essential for ensuring high fertility as I add more detail work later. This feature makes Revel more than just a traditional painting simulator. It is a real digital painting tool that compete with Photoshop when it comes to concept art. I recommend placing each resized sketch on separate layer. This is a great technique because it gives you the freedom to make adjustments to individual designs without disturbing the others. As I continue refining, I'll often duplicate the sketch layer before resizing. That way, I have a backup if I want to revert a original composition. With the sketch resized, I will start 
building the structure and adding more details. Uh, I'm still working in monochrome here because it helps me to focus on values and contrast without getting distracted by a color too early. Uh, I use a muted OD color palette to build up and refine the character. Uh, it really helps uh, reinforce that pretty dark fantasy vibe. This step is crucial for defining the depth and mood of the character. Once the main design is in place, I start tightening up details. Elements like facial features, textures on clothing, or small design accents can really push the design forward. For example, adding scratches dude or even subtle scars can tell a lot about the character's story. For brushes, I mainly use my custom oil brushes, rough oils, soft oils, oil knife, and smooth knife uh, brushes to build up my forms and define the character's shape. These brushes are fantastic for achieving that painterly look while still keeping things controlled and precise. I also like to spend time refining materials, differences, skin, leather, metal, and each have a distinct qualities and rebel variety of brushes allow me to capture those unique texture effectively. I layer these brushes to create a sense of depth, especially in areas like fabric, folds, or armor plating. Adding thin strokes with a detailed brush can really sharpen those hard edges. While blending certain areas with knife, smooth brush keeps things balanced and realistic. You can see that I paint the entire character in monochrome or the tones, carefully building up values to create that depth and volume. Uh, starting with broad strokes, I block in major shapes, slowly refine each area with additional layers of details. I keep my brush pressure varied to control the texture and softness of the paint for tighter areas like facial features or intricate conceal designs i switch to a smaller brush and build up the details with precise strokes Once the design looks good, I deepen the contrast by adding stronger shadows 
with a deeper brown and highlight details with a pale beige or off-white. This creates a distinctive high contrast look that feels bold yet painterly. I use uh, soft oils for shadows and uh, same for highlights and focusing on defining the lights, sources and material textures. For added depth, I increase contrast in key, key areas like face, hands and main outfit elements. This helps the designs to stand out and feel more dynamic. Small details like uh, scratches uh, or seams or decorative pattern can really bring the character to life. Here I am experimenting with uh, some of my favorite oil brushes for blending edges adding highlights and refining textures like leather or metal this is all about uh, detailing the character gradually and giving it a life that I wanted to have I continue uh, using that all the browns and deep shadows to create a strong sense of form. For skin tones, I keep things desaturated and muted. Think dusty flush tones with hints of clay like warmth. For clothing, I layer in rugged materials using buff scratchy strokes. Full leather and tone textures look great with this gritty color style. You see that I am working in the same layer here. I am not using any extra layers or anything or using any color blending mode to color over it. You can use it later if you want to add uh, uh, colors instead of monochrome approach adding subtle reflections on metallic armor or tiny skin imperfections can really elevate the final look And there you have it, a fully developed character design all done using Rebel. So if you have been thinking Rebel is just for traditional style painting, think again. So you can see that it is a powerful tool for character design that can easily match industry standards. Now, Thanks so much for joining me in this tutorial, hope you like it, 
if you have any questions feel free to drop them in comments on don't forget to check out my escape motions profile for more artwork and tutorials happy painting everyone thanks for watching i will see you in next one